Our coverage continues here at Big South Media Day in Charlotte. My name is Nick Pierce, visiting now with the head coach of the Liberty Lady Flames, Kerry Green, and his team picked to win the Big South Conference Championship 18th time in 19 seasons there are the preseason favorites and coach it seems like every year you have these expectations on you have this target painted on you but every year it seems like your team handles it well well uh nick i think this will be the only day we talk about that you know it should be a confidence builder but i think uh more than anything it, it could load you down like my, my pockets are full of fool's gold you know mm-hmm. I, I i know we have a, a excellent program and team that uh, is ready to, to get started and we have some great practices but uh, we've got to go out and earn these things and uh, for us to uh, just to move forward thinking we're going to win championship or even win one game without preparation would be very foolish so uh, it's, it's great to celebrate this celebrate uh, Ashley being uh, named the preseason conference player of the year because she's an outstanding ball player, but uh, we have to uh, put it together. We have a whole season in front of us. Yeah, and you mentioned Ashley, uh, the preseason player of the year honor. How much fun has it been to watch, to, uh, watch her growth here over the last four years? Well, you know, she came in as a freshman and uh, was understudied to a WNBA player. Uh, and uh, Avery Worley is, was a huge challenge for her but uh, as a freshman, but yet... Um, Ashley did hold her own against Avery, and uh, it was a, a, a great beginning, even though it was a time that we redshirted her at that point in time, a uh, difficult time for her, but uh, uh, from an academic perspective and maturity, uh, you know, she was uh, gaining, she's gained so much from that, those experiences to uh, see her grow to the point now where she's a leader on the team, along with four other seniors as well. Uh, we just want to parlay let that experience into leadership, into um, application with a purpose. And uh, there's no guarantee to that, but those are points that we want to definitely address and bring up and encourage this leadership and with, with Ashley right at the center of it. And Ashley as well, her style, as you've watched over the last few years, it's not just a situation where she's just a, a tall person under the goal where you feed her the ball. She can move around and do a lot of different things down there, can't she? Yeah, uh, she can score from anywhere on the floor. Uh, she can shoot the three. Uh, she's an extremely good free throw shooter, so if you foul her, uh, she gets points there. She makes layups, and she uh, can use either hand around the basket, left hand, right hand. So. She's got a pretty big offensive repertoire, so to speak, and uh, can score so many different ways. And then um, is a, a very good rebounder on both ends. So she can allow her teammates to play the game and take shots while she's doing her homework on, on the backside and getting easy scores with that. So uh, she's a, a high IQ player uh, that's really driven. And... Uh, um, and probably the shot, best shot blocker on her team. Mm. I just don't want her to spend too much time beside me because she's in foul trouble <laughs> because of trying to block shots. But right. uh, you know, those are things that she has to make judgments in the, in the moment and uh, just learn to play good defensive positioning and uh, it'll keep you out of foul trouble. Now what about Sedalia Ellis, preseason, second team, all conference. What's the next level for Sedalia Ellis? Well, I think the next level uh, for her just be consistent um, and uh, and just do ordinary things because she certainly has the skills and talents of a of an outstanding player. Um, she was named to the second team, but you know she's only like one vote away or a couple votes away of being on the first team. Uh, so I think our conference recognizes her skills and talents as you have there for her to go to the next level just become consistent and uh, to make everybody around her better because of her position she's a point guard she's not a scoring two guard but we'd like for her to u- utilize her skills her talents her speed mm-hmm. uh, to get easy quick scores but uh, in addition to that to facilitate and be the quarterback out there uh, on, the, on the basketball court and uh, just make everybody better very challenging schedule for your team this year at Duke, Ohio State, NC State, but you get them at home. Uh, how important is it going to be to keep the team's focus through that pre-conference schedule? 
Well, I don't think uh, keeping their focus is going to be a problem, Nick, because if we're not focused, that game can these games can get away from us really, real quick. Uh, to take these challenges against great opponents is very similar to what we're going to run into if we have the privilege and we've earned and had the opportunity to win the conference and get to the NCAA. These are the games that we're going to be playing against, teams like that. Now, mm -hmm. unfortunately, there's like three months in between that start and uh, the finishing of the NCAA and getting in there. But um, I think these challenges early against quality opponents will reveal and expose areas that we need to work on and early in the season just to establish who we are. Uh, I think we know who we are, but we've still got a lot of energy, enthusiasm coming from a, a bunch of freshmen who think we need to get them in the game and get them in the game against these quality opponents. So the margin of error for us against these type of quality opponents is going to be so small that um, we have to be good. If we're not good, uh, the games can go uh, against us real quick. Mm -hmm. And from a coaching perspective, it's good that you have these challenges. It, it can be and it should be a learning process. And daily, we would like that for us to be consistent with our improvement daily and then uh, carry that right on into the games against quality opponents and uh, keep our head um, focused. Just keep it focused because I can f flip the tables and say, hey, what if we're undefeated against that type of opponent? Mm -hmm. I think I may have a bunch of monsters to deal with. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it would be a good problem I'd like to have. <laughs> no doubt about that. Well, yeah. Coach, we certainly appreciate the time and wish you the best of luck here coming up at the start of the season real soon. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Liberty Lady Flames, Kerry Green. My name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.